it's me, Bellsbug, and I'm back with another review. Oh man, and I have the Protectabots Evac Squad. And uh, oh man, it's a uh, Hotspot and Blades. And uh, Hotspot, and it's real odd that they did this. Hotspot is a repaint of Grapple. Yeah, wrap your head around that for a second because, um, they did, first they came out with Inferno, and then they did a remold of Inferno into Grapple, and then they did a remold of Inferno into Hotspot, which was blue, that came out, and then for this set, instead of just making a red Hotspot, they made a red Grapple, and it looks like, I haven't opened it, but it looks like they used the same head as Grapple. Instead of using um, Hotspot's head. It just don't make no sense. And then for the uh, helicopter blades, they used, I think it was Blaze Master from Revenge of the Fallen. So, yeah. Yeah, they just kind of slapped two figures together and some of it don't make sense. It hurts my little brain. Alright, but let's just quick look at this. And so, hand hands. So there's the flame and comet. And then... There you go, in the back, and it's got the pictures there, and it says, Protectobots Evac Squad. Need a Daredevil Rescue? The Protectobots Evac Squad can get it done. Sure, they might show boat after they do it, but since they're working in the most extreme conditions with no margin for error, you can't really blame them. Their knack for dramatic rescues is rivaled only by their knack for dramatic storytelling. The way you'd hear them tell it, even saving a cat stuck in a tree qualifies as a high wire mission on the edge of danger. So, so they're liars? That, that, that don't make it sound too good. They lie about everything and they like danger. And if you want a, well, what, what was that? The, you want a, what kind of rescue is that? Daredevil rescue? Man, I don't want no daredevil rescue. I just want somebody to help me when I need help. Man, that's the worst written. <sighs> All right, enough about that. But then protect about blades, protect about hotspot, and then of course it shows the uh, emergency response with, uh, let's see. Well, Street Smart, Groove, and First Aid, or Prowl, Ratchet, and a Mini RC. Yeah, Cyberverse RC. So, let's just go side. And on the side, it just shows the uh, Thrillin' 30, 16 of 30. So, and the other one with Ratchet and uh, Prowl and RC is um, 17 of 30. Yeah. So, uh, there it is. So, let's open it up and check it out. It's a bit odd. But, uh, yeah, I bought the other pack, so I figured, all right, well, it'll bother me if I don't have all of them then. So, uh, yeah, we'll just check this out and see how it is. And I will make a separate video for a transformation. So let's just go and check these guys out. All right, let's go. Woohoo! All right, and here we have Hotspot, which is an amalgam between Inferno and Grapple. And for some reason, Hotspot is now a crane. I don't know why. The rest of the body is Inferno, though. So they just changed this part and the head in robot mode. And I will say that vehicle mode is nice. I mean, it's nice. It's actually a nice figure. It's just that it feels very loose. I mean, that's something that's wrong with the figure. It feels loose. But it is a very nice mold. But I, I can't, for the life of me, figure out why you would have Hotspot already designed with a really excellent face that matches Hotspot. And then you decide to use Inferno. Well, that Hotspot's body was Inferno's. But you put on Grapple's crane and Grapple's head on the body it just makes no sense at all so I, I don't know what they were trying to do with it I, it really doesn't doesn't make any sense to me at all so uh, there you go nice vehicle mode and let's get to the wonder that is 
blades. Yeah, and there is blades right there. And he wa he's a repaint of Blaze Master. And uh, this is the only good thing you could say about it. It's a serviceable helicopter. That, that's it. I mean, because there's a lot of paneling and things don't really pop in exactly right. I mean, but it is serviceable. You can tell it is a helicopter. You know, but as you can see, the panels pop a bit. And it does have this, yay, there you go. There's the gimmick. So, this is Blades, or Blaze Master from Revenge of the Fallen. And this really destroys the set. It, it does. Because I, I can't see... I, I really can't see bothering to purchase a set because of this. I mean, and you'll see it in robot mode, if you can call it that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get them into robot modes. Alright, and here we have Hotspot. Well, with Grapple's head and Grapple's crane um, and red eyes. So, there you go. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, but these sets don't. And like I said, this is a great mold. Okay, of a great figure, but it's loose. It really feels not in a good way. I mean, if I just go and shake, and these legs just wobble around. It's, it's really loose. Like it wants to fall down. And that's not... Uh, the quality on this is just garbage. No, I shouldn't say that. It's not... He's not garbage. He's just not very good. Okay, I'm, I'm just so upset about blades. And we'll get to him in a second. But, uh, but even this, the fact that it's just so loose... But like this leg is a bit more stiff, but I just look at that. Brand new out of the box. You know, and I like this mold. And again, this just makes me want to go and find the GDO hotspot. Yeah. I, I the only thing this set does is make me want to get the other characters except for RC, nobody really, you know, Cyberverse characters are Cyberverse. That's not really anything. But for the Deluxes, yeah, Ratchet. I like Ratchet. You know, I already have Ratchet, but, uh, and having Prowl. It makes me want to get Beast Hunter's Prowl. This makes me want to get, you know, either Inferno, Grapple, or the GDO Hotspot. But it, it's just really... I don't know. Well, for 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 articulation, he's got a shoulder. Shoulder goes out. Spins. He's got an elbow. And he's got wrist articulation. It spins. His head is on a ball joint. 360. Get a little bit up. A little bit down. Um, no waist articulation. But he does have hip that goes out that far. But then he has... Uh, Okay, if we look at his joint, right, he's got a joint, so he's got 360 there, and he's got, you know, can go out to the side on that joint. And he's got the knee, and he's got a little bit of tilt on the foot. But again, it's loose. It's really loose. Even, even with turning it, it turns so easily. You know, it's like not even... It's bad, okay. And his crane extends there you go and now we'll get to the oh man the thing that's fantastic oh wait one more thing the shoulders and it kind of shows in the i don't know pictures it kind of shows the shoulders like this now you could and this way that i usually display it is um usually I do it like this i don't know i just like that look to it for me Please stand. All right. But, yeah, yeah. So the shoulders you can move around whichever way you like. If you want to put them in the back, in the front. But there you go. Oh, and uh, because it is uh, Inferno, 
these pieces do move because in grapples these pieces did not move but infernos do, does so there you go you can get not inferno but uh hot spot Gee, i wonder why i'm getting them mixed up all right and let's get to the part that just makes this set just is the end to these Protectobots, GDO Protectobot sets, and that's going to be Blades, so let's get to it. Look deeply into the face of poop. Yes, this is Blades, which is a repaint of Revenge of the Fallen, Blaze Master. And Blaze Master must be one of the worst Transformers ever made. Because this thing is horrible. And this, I would venture to guess, is even worse because it has weak joints. It's got floppy joints, so it's even worse. And I looked at some reviews, and it's the same engineering problems. It just doesn't fit together. Nothing snaps together. Nothing goes together. It's just a hot mess. Just a piece of crap is, is really the only way to describe it. And this fell off again. That's like the 20th time. I'm not going to reshoot it. I don't care. Alright, that goes in there. That's where it's supposed to go in his arm. Yeah, but it keeps falling out. But anyway, yeah, and you might say, but that's not even, yeah. His backpack is supposed to go in here, but there's just no way it doesn't work. Okay, things just don't work on it. Somebody didn't engineer stuff the right way, so it doesn't work. Okay, you don't get things locking into place at all. He looks like garbage. And engineering, here, I'll show you a great piece of engineering. Here it is. A huge waste of engineering time. Somebody went, and there it went off again, so I'm not putting it back on. But if you look over here, you can see there is a thumb. Somebody went and designed a thumb, and it goes down here, and you transform, you put it here, and then you close the top over it, making it completely pointless and irrelevant yeah w what's the point of that well he has a thumb so so it's okay no it's like any kind of movement on the it's horrible it, there, there is no articulation is none okay yeah he has some joints here and there but like i said but but you can't even transform he's supposed to be chicken legged but because these joints are so weak, if you chicken leg him, he'll just fall down. So you have to kind of have these straight up and down. You know, it, it is just a pile of crap. And uh, you could have the best figure, and, and this is just still a pile of crap. It's kind of like somebody offering you the world's best sandwich. And you're like, alright, and right on the plate, right next to that sandwich, they put a pile of poop. You know, and it's like, okay, now eat it. Now, I'm not saying that um, the Hotspot is one of the greatest Transformers, because it's not. It's good, but it has all kinds of problems, but then you're offering this. This right here, and I'm going to say it now, and people might be angry and argue with me, but no, I'm going to say it right now. Arachnid is a better figure than this, and Arachnid is horrible. She's a horrible figure. She barely stands. you know, you got to kind of use her... Uh, yeah, her way, her uh, helicopter blades to get her to sand. But at least when you're finished, you know you're done. This, you have no idea if you're done or not done. If you did it right or didn't do it right. Because the instructions are bad. Everything about this figure is horrible. There's, there's no redeeming quality. At least Arachnid, she has one redeeming quality. She was a really cool character on Prime. This... No redeeming qualities at all. Total garbage. And it's like, it's a slap in the face. It's just like when they put Roll Bar in with the Optimus Prime set. You know, the uh, Farmageddon set. You know, why? And then they didn't paint it and they didn't make it look anything. And it was just total zero effort on it. Well, that's this. And how anybody could pick this to put in the set, I have no idea. My brain just hurts, and all I'm going to say is, I would pass, pass, pass. If you're looking for Inferno, well, you know, you could get an Inferno, you could get a Grapple, or you could probably look for the GDO um, hotspot, the blue one that came out. 
because I don't think, unless you get it dirt cheap, this set is worth nothing. And you're going to get a figure with loose joints, and you're getting this piece of crap to sit on your shelf, or at least maybe go in the garbage can, because this is just total garbage. I mean, this guy just maybe will sit on a garbage shelf with a bunch of other crappy toys or in a box with a bunch of other crappy Transformers for when I need to vent on Transformers, but horrible, 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 horrible. Oh, and we got to do a summation, so let's go to the summation. Yay. Time for the summation. And few things make me so mad as things like this. When you just go and you just give the fans crap. I, what else can you call it? Why? Inferior quality um, hotspot. That just, just like doesn't make sense. Why would you put Grapple's head on Inferno's body? And then, why would you give him a crane instead of giving him, you know, a fire hose or whatever they had on it? Because it, it's a fire truck! I, I, fire trucks do not have cranes on them. It, uh, and then this piece of poop right here. I, I mean, it's just, that's all you can call it. It's poop. No, no redeeming qualities at all. This set, I mean, if you're willing to, um... Eat a sandwich. After somebody goes, they make a delicious sandwich for you. They put it on the plate. It's delicious. You know it's going to be good. And then for the side order, instead of fries or some coleslaw, they put a piece of poop right next to it. Yeah. If you would eat that sandwich, then by all means pick up this set. If you would not eat that sandwich, then uh, stay away from it. It's trash. It is not nice. It is not shiny, it is not good, and, and man, sadly, this seems to be like Hasbro's M.O. lately. And I don't know why. You can do better than this, Hasbro. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Bad toys. Bad toys. Um, bye!